It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today I have a brand new unit from a company I've never tried before, okay? Today we are looking at a wig by Organique. Oh, it's shake and go. Oh, from the makers of Shake and Go. I didn't know that. Okay. I've seen some of these Organique wigs pop up on the Wig Types website, and I was really curious about them. I think I've seen like four of the wigs by Organique. But then I saw the YouTuber Shelly Fonte. She slayed the hell out of this wig that I'm wearing right now. Please check out my girl Shelly. I'm gonna link her review to this wig down below. I just loved how she set this wig up, especially cause she tinted her eyebrows like a burnt orange. Oh my God, it just looks so good. Shelly, she's a new YouTuber. I believe she started some months ago and I have definitely fallen in love with her content. I really like the way she delivers her information. I find her very comical and very entertaining. So I highly suggest that you check Shelly out and tell her your girl is that your hair sent you, okay? Go see my girl slay this wig and thank me later. All right, so I have the Light Yaki Straight in the 24 inches. If you like longer hair, there is a 32 inch option available. Yes, 32 inches. Let's get into some of the specs. This is your typical lace front wig. So there is lace to cut out the pack. It is an ear to ear lace front wig and it comes with a five inch center part. However, as you can see, I shifted mine to the side because the middle part was not working for me, y'all. You know I'm a middle part kind of girl, but it just looked funky. But once I shifted it to the side, I was like, okay, I can rock with this. So there are two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. And I like the comb placement. It's over here on the side. Thank you, Organique. And of course, this unit is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Let me give you a quick 360. All right, y'all, let's get into my thoughts on this unit, starting with the pros. First pro to this unit has to be the color. This copper color is so beautiful it's lovely especially on my brown skin i adore it this isn't your typical copper color either it has dimensions to the color i don't know if you can see that but there are hints of like a strawberry red in there it looks like a tinted purple all mixed into the strands it's absolutely beautiful i think if this was a straight copper that i'm used to free trust equal coming out with i probably would not like it but if y'all know me y'all know i like to rock color i know i haven't been doing it as of late because winter time i do tend to gravitate towards the one b's number twos but now that it's heating up outside, I'm ready to get back in the color game, okay? And in case you didn't know, I did do a video last year on how to dye a synthetic wig. I dyed Sensational Chrissy pink, and I loved how it turned out. After this video, check that video out too, in case you want to see me in a little bit of color. But yeah, this this is <laughs> this is giving me life. Oh my god, I look like a real housewife, but just a little younger. Yes, okay, Organique. I see. So the color is popping. I also like the cap size. The cap itself is very stretchy. Does this say anything on the stock card about what the cap is? Cause I mean, I guess there's something special about it, but it, it, it feels very comfortable on my head and I know it's going to be big head friendly. I also love the style. I mean, you can't go wrong with a sleek straight style. If I stand up here, it definitely is going down like a good, I would say, maybe a good 22 inches. And I love that the ends are feathered. The parting space also looks pretty good. I didn't have to pluck or tweeze anything. I just added my powder and I was good to go. Now, let me tell you where I struggled. I did struggle as far as just the whole this area. 
You know I have a widow's peak, so I was determined to wear this wig without a dark root because I just really wanted to wear copper hair just through and through, from root to tip. Copper, copper, copper. So, you know, my dark root was peeking through. It, it, it took some time, y'all. Like, I was in the mirror for a good half an hour trying to get this right. Really, I just kept putting, like, a little bit of my pressed powder where my, um... Where my widow's peak was peeking through i was putting some pressed powder i was also dabbing a little bit of got to be glue where the lace is and pressing that down and uh, putting my blow dry on it just to make sure it would adhere properly and of course i had my handy dandy fit me powder to make the part stand out a little bit i just applied that right on top and yeah i was pretty much good to go it took a little time but if you don't have a widow's peak like i do it probably won't take that long overall y'all i I really don't have anything bad to say about this wig. I think it's absolutely lovely. It does shed. It wasn't like a, an enormous amount of shedding, but it, it shed a little bit out the pack, like a typical synthetic wig. I'm not getting any tangling though. Whatever fibers they use for this hair, that's definitely a major pro as well too, the texture. It feels so nice. This is definitely a beautiful, light, yakky texture. And you know, when a company gets the texture right, I am here for it. Now, I know I said this wig is ear to ear. I did shift it, remember? And now I'm gonna be exposed. Bam, you see me? There I am. So we just gonna cover that right back up and just keep it pushing because no one has to see all of that. I think this is a look. Let me tell you, as a black woman, people police us enough about a lot of different things. But I notice it a lot with hair and what colors we can or cannot wear. And if no one's told you today, I'ma tell you sis, you can wear whatever color that you want. I do. If I wanna wear blonde, I'm rocking blonde. If I wanna wear copper, hello, ta-da, I'm here. Blue, pink, purple, I do whatever the hell I want. No one can tell me otherwise. Same for you if you are a woman who wants to experiment with color and feels scared for whatever reason. I'm urging you to please try. Synthetic wigs are the best way to experiment with color. The best. You don't have to worry about getting 613 bundles, which are expensive. You don't have to worry about then dyeing them and then praying it comes out correctly. If you're a beginner, who wants to do all that? Buy you a synthetic wig for $30 and keep it moving. I think it's the perfect solution for all of your color woes. Come on, how can you not love this? Unless you just don't rock with color like that, then you might not love it. But if you do, and if any of you are scared out there, I hope this video is helping you come out of your shell. Maybe I converted a few people to color, who knows? Let me know in the comments so yes y'all i'm really feeling this wig i'm loving it i don't have any real cons to this wig i think it's a well-made wig and for 30 dollars why not and if you're not ready to wear colors or if you just don't like colors like this get the 1b get the 2 you'll still enjoy it just as much so yes yeah, sound off in the comments down below let me know how you feel about this hair would you wear this color or would you try a different color let me know and if i'm not mistaken with this on wig types it's the same price all around so 30 dollars for 1b and 30 dollars for this copper color which is nice because who wants to see like a two or four dollar upcharge i know i don't and if you are new to this channel make sure you tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything coming up and hit that notification bell make sure you check out my girl shelly fonte i'm telling you check her out you will not be disappointed when i see some fresh faces on the yt and i see them being consistent and doing their thing i just have to like show them love so shelly girl if you're watching this one's for you and of course if you want to see some of my latest videos check them out over here to the right of me thank you all so much for joining me for this video and i'll see you in the next one bye I'm there